Yo, people, it's your boy Nari here with Ari. And we're there in 2020. Happy New Year, you know, people. Yeah, so we're here with 2020 vision. Ha ha. Again. <laughs> so we're here, we say, yo, we wanted to not do a ranking, because we're kind of tired of the ranking thing. That's why we never have a given you know, a top 10 artists or top 10 song. We're kind of tired of the whole ranking shit, to be honest. Um, But we said we definitely wanted to do a little something and say, yo, our top moments of are you all right are you, yeah. are you, are you okay i'm fine are you, okay? are you ever have problems with your wardrobe <laughs> we could i do a compilation as you have fixed things in our interviews we could speaking of compilation speaking of so we said we're gonna do a compilation of our best moments of 2019 and we're gonna walk you through some of them right some of our favorite moments mm-hmm. interviews and you know the highlights and and things that we found memorable throughout the year of 29 last year of the last decade though yeah. you know uh, let's not get into counting on wait, them no. That they are getting the... no i was saying oh. isn't like technically every year at end of a decade M- I mean, no, some shit like that no right? seriously like 2009 2019 that was the end of a decade no. all right so people let's kick it off with this first clip. guys no seriously <laughs> just go with me no no i'm not going there so with you i'm not going there Fine. Uh, 2020 Fine. vision. We're not going them places there with you. Fine. All right. So, it's our first clip. You remember this clip, Ari? You want to set it up? It's a funny, <laughs> funny clip. Remember, we're going at the top of last year with, with one of our favorite people, Nika. Oh, my God. She's a big blood clot lie about her breast and my beak up, by the way. They're not. There's no way those things are beak up. Those are not. Those are not beak up. But, yeah. Speaking, I'm an expert. Sad. Okay. So this was our podcast conversation with Nika earlier in the year when she revealed a certain thing that she had revealed to her mother and Where's my drink? <laughs> our reaction to what she said. And yeah, just 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 pre hilarious. <laughs> I tell my mother everything. Wow. Every single thing. I remember the first time I tell my mother, I say, yo, my do oral, you know, from that many and body lip to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stop talking to Nika now. I'm out. Oh I'm exiting. <laughs> Guys, I'll be here laughing and laughing at that interview. Yeah. All right, so we are here at the field, at the, we're doing the podcast, right? And Naro is adamant that he's trying to redeem himself. I was not adamant, I no job. So he's going to try and lift up our interview, our guest for this week, Nika. This is Nika. Yes. Come. Yeah. yeah show her power. Show her So, Naro, you're going to redeem show yourself, how much right? You no, Naro. I will never redeem ourselves. <laughs> We have to be confident, Use friends. Please. You have to be confident. Hey, come. Mama, from from sure, excuses, 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 excuses. Come. Say what I'm running on. Stretch I'm first, stretch. No, no stretch. No, no, not three. No, 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 Five seconds. Oh, yeah, let's go. So, see you. Stop. See you. Just hold on. Come 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 on. I want to go Wow, unreal. My gosh. This is amazing. I feel incredible. Yes, 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 yes. I can win. I feel great. I can do this. Ugh. What I find? Stop from the set. I don't need a dog, man. Fuck that. Tip my foot down weird. 
I'm alive! This is all a miracle! And then, of course, I kind of redeemed myself with how I did lift her up to, yeah? See that? <laughs> yeah, because I did the previous year, I did kind of have a hell with Tiffa, but I redeemed myself, didn't you I? You did, you did. Don't it? You did. Can Nika go on a bag of things, uh, blicky, yes. blicky, blicky, blue, yeah? Yes, but you know, because Tiffa ran and you had to... No, I hear that. people saying that, no, uh, it's the same thing, eh? <laughs> Did I have her up in my arms? Was I lifting her? Yes. For more than argument five done. seconds. For more than five seconds. Argument done this. You know what I mean? So yeah. All right. From there, we... Nika is funny though. Another she's. She's hilarious. Speak up yourself, Nika. Um, we did this special sit down with Curly. Mm-hmm. Set it up now, Ariel. Well, it's a special series that we wanted to start called mm. Fixated. <clears throat> Both to separate myself and Naro. Because I guess... We're always trying to compete to see who's better. Yeah, it might just be a thing where fix it is my thing. I'm just make her do for her own thing because people don't say my part of the interview was the best part. No? Or yeah. it's a thing where I wanted to do and I was just like, ah, oh, you know, Nara could do his own little thing. So, <laughs> yeah. Here was the one who wanted to rank in. Here we are ranking ourselves. But funny enough, it actually was Curly Lock's idea. And it was. He asked us uh, to interview him and mm. you know we followed up to his studio yeah to yeah. studio and it was a really good in-depth conversation with mm. him you know spoke about things that weren't really discussed in the media pre- media previously mm-hmm. um you know he had his podcast uh, the the bill is truth yeah. which he's launching this year so right. the, pre- the pre- preview feed and of course he did his um Another start of value yes. drop. There you but go. Yeah. To, do you we remember know. anything that happened there? I'm like literally coming from a cold. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah, let's stop touch me. I'd... Yeah. So will you stop, please? Mm-hmm. F- further set up the clip, right? Right. <laughs> so my wow. Oh wow. Wow. You remember that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bug at us said, wow. <laughs> Wow, we could have done a couple of shots. Mm. Wow. 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 <laughs> oh, yes, that in depth conversation is something we would never really do before. We said we're going to do more of, we're going to try to do more, more of this year, the one on one type special interviews in different locations and switch everything. But mm-hmm. here's the first one in the series, Fixated with Curly Lux. There are blessings in every curse. Everyone, yeah. it will be still. Mm-hmm. The moment that silence their spirit, yeah. you will get to hear the voice louder. 90% of parents are doing stuff for their kids, but it's not for the kids, it's for them. Mm-hmm. My youth have a weird job and a weird dog. The Shirley sees at a bank you for the nine months that I carry you, no charge. Mm-hmm. And then your guilt no blow, you don't know what you feel. Like she does, she does. Yeah, true, she carry it for that But month. realistically, yeah. I don't owe you mm. for carrying me for that. That was a choice where you make. And it does broke in a maid. Honestly, me say, pussy hole. You want fucking witch. You want evil bumbo hole. But me shouldn't even talk to you. Years. Wow. You try to just fuck me up. Wow. And me just love you. Wow. Fuck you. Wow. Never call me back again. Wow. Fuck you. Anything at all, somebody tell you and you follow them and you are faulting them. Because if anything happens, no, them are If you never me, tell if you go do that. No? If you spoil the one life where you have, it's not going to be your fault. Yeah. If you spoil the one life where you have now, you're 60 and I look back for your life and I say, that person, you do this, another person. No, you do it. I see your baby function for them little. When mommy clap your little one and say, wow, that's a nice song. The next one is running. Never sang to mommy. Some people don't grow, they age. The same dirty habit from them too. Only change stages. It doesn't go away because they don't accept responsibility for action. They don't learn and accept. And grow them are still the same thing. Where did I arrive at this? At this place, a uh, frame of mind. Um, was there a particular event? After the death of a son, mm-hmm. I realized that I was lacking. And that was just the courage to offend mm-hmm. somebody. Great conversation, Curly Locks. You know who else we ever have great conversations with? Walshi Fire. Mm-hmm. I th- believe we talked to him about two times this year. Um, yeah. one moment I can specifically remember was when he said that there's, this, there's going to be a, a new genre of music farting from Jamaica and mm-hmm. I feel like his words will are they have been proved prophetic are they, they, they will be in mm-hmm. time but I see the makings of it happening the form 
forming of it to go on. Wouldn't you say, Art? Yeah, I agree. Mm. You know, he has years of experience yeah. in music. Um, you know, he's a Jamaican the culture, seeing it from <laughs> locally and, of course, um, internationally because mm-hmm. he's a part of Major Lazer. That's a big fucking deal. So, you know, so he maybe can speak to it and can see clearly 2020. Mm. Ha. Sad. <laughs> Better than we can. So, you know, maybe, and you're right, maybe true. Maybe, hey. maybe it's the same. It's just this, the same. The, the same of the, the same. I just, I'm glad that we can be a part of it in some way or form. I feel like we're involved in the shaping and the highlighting this new genre. That's all we can do. That's all we can do, really. I <laughs> yeah. uh, we give thanks to be a part of it any which way. You know what I mean? Alkaline, uh, I know a lot of people um, don't have much experience with Alkaline. I saw him work in the studio and I was like, he's actually an amazing talent. For sure, I saw the talent and I was like, this this is a this is a genius. We have to acknowledge um, energy. We have to acknowledge high and low frequencies. I love when artists war. I love Sting. I love to see lyrical war. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But here's the problem. We've been living at a low frequency for 400 years. Mm-hmm. As much as I love that, I have to look at the coffins. I have to look at the people who are affected. That's right. And I have no. to say, I cannot allow my low frequency to take over my high frequency. And especially when you get to the high frequency and you've been in the low frequency for so long and you look back and you say, I can't believe that that's the kind of stuff I used to really enjoy. Yeah, mm-hmm. When now I really enjoy this positivity. So I think this was our first type of mix up type of interview. Them, them interview, you know, them two sets of it. I, I pre them as a peer. Oh, you know what I'm about? Oh. Yes, we're moving on. We're oh. moving on. Yes, mm-hmm. we're moving. Okay. Stick with me. My <laughs> 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 God. Yes, I bring them as a as a peer together. Okay. You know what I'm about? I know. I, I know. Mm. Polo. 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 Yeah. Polo. So, we <laughs> don't know what I'm talking about. Hard frosted for on the podcast. Yeah. Right? I know what I left field. This really did take me a hard by surprise. Like, I would never even really prefer to talk about so I would never even know. Say, I thought she was joking. I just wanted yes. to say, I thought it was, ha, ha, ha. I would never even know. Say, you're talking man, new espresso. Yeah, yeah. take, oh, what am I calling? Way over. Way over, yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, would never even know say Iman take over uh, problems. The two of them have uh, that big... Take over, I didn't up. know they were going to be problems. <laughs> 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 get the news on the interview too. <laughs> uh, but... But yeah, they them have the hot song, the polo, and if I had punish our reviews, say, yo, me and you, they're not good. And yeah, take by surprise. And then take over forward and gave his side of the story. And yeah. This is how it played out. They got truth, you know. You're just them bad still, but something about polo. We <laughs> 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 you know, you know. And we're just you know, what, what was it about this song yeah. that. It's nice to know for the beat or the lyrics they were. Oh, me and you, they're you there. Way so over. You see it? <laughs> you and take over? Yeah, way so over that, man. Isn't me? What? What? Said, what, what oh. Wait, I miss something. That damn mess. I miss something. I never know what I'm saying. I'm a man. I'm a bit, man. Isn't me? I'm me. Going out the street. Sunday to Sunday, as I tell you. I promote the song. Isn't me? I say. Mm-hmm. You see, when you voice the song, you come like you never believe in the song. Isn't me? I say. He's a young breeze. I go on, you know. Okay. I get you. Mm-hmm. Because you have La, you have Squash, mm-hmm. you have mm-hmm. Daddy One. You have Javilani, mm-hmm. you have Hot Frost, mm-hmm. you have. So I be a young youth, so he come like he's a young breeze, he says it. Mm-hmm. So he young be just pick me up. I yeah, mean, I be honest with the Polo never really free really sitting about because Hot Frost never have a song at the time when mm-hmm. nobody know. You understand? So he get a collab with me. You understand? Because we have Chop Chop and people know me from Chop Chop. Because Chop Chop a create buzz. And I mean, I did have a song down by my side named Dubai. Mm-hmm. And a couple of other songs, you understand? So people know me and people know say I take over that. Even not have no song when nobody know. You understand what I say? As I tell you, I'll tell me about more of in a voice note already, wow. you know, before the interview, you know. Wow. You understand? Bef- do- so before well, this? Uh, before Bef- this, I've moved for film one. Film interview. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You understand? Even people around me, I said, you can't take it so you don't take over. You have to go bash him back and sit in you see me? And I said, brother, left him on to time, brother. Is it that you... you- Kinda weary about where I'm far from St. Thomas then kinda known for you know work Dublin. No. Yo, <laughs> no really, why really, you gotta go there? Yeah, no, Nara. maybe I'm why under fear there. Go there. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I just love him alone and left him to no, time. No, we're not afraid of nothing, man. Ah uh, boy. Mm-hmm. 
another interview that stood out it was one of my was with one of my favorite people mm. queen mill for herself shelly mm-hmm. and Curran, big up your damn self i am the bag <laughs> that's so funny it's funny it was funny it's funny that moment was hilarious, but yeah. I just want to take this time out again to make it known to Shelly and that I'm available for all your milfy needs and services. Mm. Maybe not all. Yeah, God, yeah. No, I said someone who makes a freak like that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Not willing to go certain place. So that I've heard that, you know. Uh, Why that drop in? As they get older, like their mind is more open than anything. I say, yeah. I got a, a, a safety word. <laughs> She. No. <laughs> That's his safety uh, word. No. no. <laughs> How about no? Hundred <laughs> percent sure. Marlon don't know. Oh, Miss Smith, I've never been in this space. I know you're classless from the breakup with Yannick, mm. so you have a history of disrespecting women. And let me tell you something. Mama is woman. Bring your come here. People say like you're, you're too old for doing certain things that you do. Like what? That you do no, no, give me an example. You, ma- you manage. If you're a manager, old shine you. Right. If you're forty three year old manager, old shine you. You're not ready for artist world then yet. Want to puff daddy when he was doing all the dancing and you know, no. Excuse me. Me. All right, <laughs> and guess what? And guess what? I am now moving into my own line. Mm. Shelly Curran is a strong brand. You know what? Kill me for it. What I don't like is when it th- when things don't work out how they want it. Yeah, you become knows. toxic. All right, my toxic. Oh, me's a, me's a star manager. I am. I am the bag. So what? I am the bag. Pick <laughs> <laughs> up yourself. All right, so you know, every time we, we, we do interviews, love time we do the interview, them and like enough people say, Yo, it's the best interview ever, the best, best, the best. So you get that whole heap. I say, All right, like once a week, you know, not, not really, to, but... I know, but not to that one, but it happened often. We yeah. would drop an interview and like, people say, Yo, the best. Mm-hmm. I feel like this one was legit one of our best interviews this year. I think so too. I think we're both ready. Mm hmm. We're both excited about the album because I thought that album. Who are we talking about oh. first of all? Or... He's a producer. I set you up with the layups, you know, and we're just supposed to slam down. And it. like <laughs> in produce, you know, and you know, he's like not a very nice person. Okay. Because his name is not nice. Good job. All right. <laughs> high fives all around. Yeah, all right. No, high not no, no, high five myself. High five, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, as people could tell, it's some it's a, a project that he put out. That is King Midas project mm-hmm. that we really took in and really um, it felt like a, a, almost like a track by track breakdown we did with yeah. him. And you could tell that it's something that we enjoyed and we mm-hmm. we enjoy talking to him about. Mm-hmm. So this was just a bit of our conversation. Not nice. Job well done on the album yes. for the record. It yes. was thank you a beautifully composed, arranged sonically a pleasing album Those job well done you're listening very yeah. well best album of the year so far for me Alkaline I know you used to work with him was there any efforts in trying to get him on the album any at all no at all mm. no never had a thought to either no nobody requested that and if they re- requested it they would, have, they would have been disappointed you ever see yourself I work with him again alright me me me, me. They, they always said never say never you know. mm. but once you say that you said never two times while ago <laughs> Artists are wicked. Mm. All of them. Every artist, me tell you, like, one person, yo, me a DJ, and me say, yeah, man, what artists are wicked? Me not like artists, you know, but what you say? It's like, me can't help myself. You see me, like, coke, see coke, see what, when me see bad artists, me can't help myself. Mm. Yeah, that is just me, so. Them could have the worst thing, them. Me, me, me can't help myself, your body, yo, I me have a voice, yo. All of me see, you see a pussy, well, me, yo, me have a voice, you still, mm. Me just condition my mind, tell him. Right. I still listen to Empire Medley like once a day. Actually, she ever like whenever she drive with me in my car, she always put it on and say, New York to Spain. Yo, you Gaza came down there, but, but. Uh, 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 right. about the uh, this is where you stop. Where you, this is where you stop. This is where you stop. Empire, we run the place. You don't? You don't. From some. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> So, during like, the middle of the year, mm. some peculiar things start happening. By the 
way, can we say we did not plan any of this? Oh, no, no, of this. <laughs> no, kinda, was it? No, was it? Kinda, kinda, li- one kind of. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. But I go on to get to a peculiar thing, like a little phenomena start happen. I'd like it, like two interview. It happened with, within a space a week mm-hmm. where artists are guess would have found I, I was something negative to say about elephant man. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, yo, why, why, why up on our platform? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the anti elephant man rhetoric start for and all these things. So there was the first one with RDX, which was hilarious. Which was out of left feet for us. Left feet for us. Elephant man. Uh, I have uh, a problem with ding dong to him. Yeah. And the website, biggest of your man are big are bad most bad mind. What are I they? think it was both, a combination of both. What yeah. yeah. And I was like, what? That was funny. RDX. And it's like him reintroduced the word tush to enough people like never know what I word I mean. You know what I word I mean? Tush? Tush, yeah. Like him tush. Yeah, he said that. I mean tush. I know tush mean your bottom. <laughs> <laughs> You should have, you should have a bone up the shoulder. Yeah, 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 all right. Guys, I'm like drunk. It's, uh, <laughs> so you must be. <laughs> I'm so drunk sick. of drugs, I'm so medication. Sick. Yeah. So, they had the addicts, and then they have bugle. Lead forward, and then they had cool face. Yeah. Lead forward. So it's like cool a little, face was like. Way up, like, Later, yeah. but I, I can't see that that's a little block as yeah. well. You know what I mean? Like, RDX, Bugle, Cool Face, Alpha to the show like, within a couple months and had negative things to say about Elephant. During his time, I'm there trying to find him. So I did find that peculiar. So here's what they had to say. Because Elephant Man really like RDX neither, you know. We have yeah. a contract what? sign. We say, me not like you and you don't like we. Them go to see him over at school. You see me? <laughs> so we and them good. <laughs> we had them good with the contract where men are like you and you. It's an understanding. Like yeah, because we, understand. sing, we sing dancing song and we make dancing song make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Zin? And because we make dancing song make sense, we are show them up. Mm-hmm. And them have a problem with that. We start from 2007 when RDX sing, dance, 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 free up. From mm-hmm. this it start. You see me? Until now. LOL is the last song where we where, where go number one for we. And... Ding dang, dancing, yeah, so. and mm. Ding Dang did have a problem with that. Wow. Mm. And him feel like same could have did sing LOL better than we, so him go back in the studio and go sing one LOL and he tush. The first album Elephant Man put out was a green sleeve album named Lagan. I think that album they have 12 track and I write it as 6 or 7 songs. If I see the album right now, I can show you every song when I write. And I hear it one time and I can just sing back every line. I just want to hear it one time and I just sing back every line. You know album credits? Right? No. no. Mm. It was like a crew, 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 crew thing. Mm. Again. You have scared them and you have monster shock around this and you have shocking vibes crew around this and So me as a youth now, like me, I say, yeah, man. Elephant man, I got have a crew with me and some other youth and things. Because I know how they did around him at the time. Mm-hmm. And, it seemed like you had a bad experience though, because you saying you travel with him and you only got like two grand. Yeah, I did. I did like the three major US tour while I'm there. Mm-hmm. I do them with him. The and three what, major so he one. just gave you two grand just to say here but not not considering your ear writing and being a part of the crew that and other the, all right so the two grand that are for one of the tour them you know all three tour you know because the next two tour them you know get no money you know you see that two grand you know is for like maybe 38 40 shows i perform every night i open the tour plus i perform with him because as i say uh, we are do the Panda River and the Signal Epi and everything yeah. I really show them mad like yeah. mad 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 i mean was one of them you the way like Full the hype man and keep it hype from oh. beginning to end yeah and then we admit that to you yeah i mean i think that is something i would have ever denied because yeah. there is so much record that i have that to show yeah you understand what i say yeah so me did hurt about it mm-hmm. but at the end of the day it was still a learning process you get me i say because i learn a whole leap from even that and 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 make me get for even understand how, how contracts human and all being mm-hmm. and how we think you understand what I say? So, me just see the whole of that as a, as a good part of my journey. It helped build me. It helped curve me into being bugle. When me stopped tour with Elephant Man, like, the tour not even did done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because our tour go is, where the last show was supposed to be, mm-hmm. is where the return ticket there. 
Okay. You understand what I mean? I say, but two are usually an extend and an extend and an mm-hmm. extend. Worse when it's a man like Elephant Man, so big at the time. Mm-hmm. If, him, if him go up on the show, the road for God to 30 show, him end up all of the 45, 50 show Ooh. because everybody wants a show somewhere yeah. else. So the tour was supposed to be done in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the tour extend and gone back to New York and some different place again. But me decides, uh, yes, I'm done. You know? mm-hmm. Like, me, me not go to it no more. Me, me give up. Mm-hmm where the tour thing is concerned, I mm. give up, I go home. Mm-hmm. And I don't have my ticket and I all land on me there and the flight I left that time then race. And I say, I'm a good man. I never forget me being like about the third seat down in the coach mm-hmm. on the right hand side of the plane, mm-hmm. in the corner. And as I sit down, a tear drop out of my eye. Like mm. as I sit down, a tear drop out of my eye because I step on the road for a minute and I'm going to leave the road now and, and I don't even have a dollar in my pocket. I'm mm. home. And you don't know the thing. Go. Yeah, everybody expects. I friend them yeah. and family see them. We are know so you're up on the road for, you know, over a month. So you must have followed in with that little thing. And just make my brethren them know. Say, yo, I have no money in nothing. I left me left the tour before it done, you know. May I get money, man, but when the tour done. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Mm-hmm. So if you have to walk on the beach, you're going to get the yo. I'm like King Kong and make me, you know, you know, I have to make so much noise. Make the work, make your, make your work stand and, and talk for itself. Mm-hmm. You see me, I say, I've written with Rihanna, right? I've written upon Pandy River, Signal the Plane, mm-hmm. Blase, mm-hmm. which may not get no credit for. Big up Elephant, man. You need to share some more. Share with the youth them and stop taking all your glory for yourself and the publishing for yourself. If you stop, say, you go ball out the other day. Me all over good to go album. I'm just sang on my help right on the mm. album. And now I can't say the first five cents. Wow. wow. So me I say, I write old one bag of dancing song for Elephant from Pan River to Blase. Come straight up the line to dance yeah. the crazy hype. Big up John Hype. To dance the crazy hype. I'm a dung ton of pass a pass and one early morning. And I say, John Hype, I do want to dance. And I say, what kind of dance that is bad though? When him say so crazy hype, and when Elephant come back from friend, I say, youth. <laughs> I said, the baddest dance in the world. You saw that? I said, Elephant, I said, Yo, you are this. Oh, you are fine, dog. I said, I said, Fine. I said, Dog, you are fine. I said, You are this cool fear. I said, Dog. Just give me a song. I'm not going to do it. So, you guys are horrible, stop. I tell you, Sam. I tell you, Sam. Come on, I said, Yeah, I said, Yeah, it's going to be it. I tell him, I said, Yeah, and then. DJ Liquid have the rhythm name French Vanilla and mm-hmm. drop it off and we have work on the song. And I say, yo, come out, go up on the road the Friday night and, and I tell him and I said, man, him get up and come back early, but get o'clock like him call me and we must say, dog, I chew your tail. Me green sit down, get up and eat. Come link, yo, star, come link me. Where you there? Come link me. I say, all right, I'm going link you. Link up with him and start right it. Then um, Tony, the link up, turn it up, go through it and I see through the song. I say, this is it. Link short, then go up to the studio, go revise it. And then we don't vice the song or listening to me. I say, yeah, eat everybody up here. Yo, eat. Jesus Christ. I'm going to find one more. Big excitement. I'm still saying, yeah. Find it. And, you know? <laughs> so, so, we did a wall of vibe. I say, yo, just shout or something, you know. Everybody stop. I say, what do you mean? Shout or something. I said, shout or something. I say, you mean? I said, the front, the intro, that eight bar, that needs something and too empty. I said, what do you mean? I said, want or something. So, I said, it wants something. I try to think about what it wants. I said, I love it. We'll go away. I tell Dan, say, want something, and then I say, yo, no, I'm on low it, dog. And I say, yo, you want something. Then, like, the, 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 the night, we think about it, and the next day, we get up, and I say, yo, you know, I know what I want. Go some, we go some boop and show the elephant, and I say, I know what I want. So, what? So, when I pass a pass, I have a thing in them, my man, and when the man them get mad, I start saying, mad run, mad run, mad run, and run up and down. And I that, said, that energy there, I say, yeah, I say, yeah, it need that, it need that. I must say, you shoot me, I say, I hit it, need it. I say, yo, I call Dan, yo, Dan, come back and fill it up for six. Dan call me now, I say, yo, star, star, you see, dog. You will tell elephant, but want something, no, the man, want my pop. You must track the pan, you must track the pan for my mixer. I say, yo, we need it, bro. We need it. We we'll go up there now, I say, what could we do it? I say, all right, right, mad run. I say, that's the energy, just visual energy. The man, mad in the road, I hit, run up and down, I say, lightning. Turn that, that's the acting, I say, yeah. So we stop now, I say, where you going with them, I say, me don't know, I say, yo. Thunder, you know, smell like thunder, man. I said, yeah. when you thunder? <laughs> I said, yo, yo, when you thunder again? I said, something will smell bad, man. I said, all right. And put it on, I release it, and I run it. I said, yo, it's going to work. It's right on the face. It takes about two days for us. But we go to dance and go sound and go and drop it on the man here. Mother, run it. Dance and start. Dance and And the star, run up and down. And then, before you know it, the biggest song in Jamaica. Mm. Yes, it is. And up to now, I don't get 1% publishing for that. Ellie, again, these are not our words. <laughs> All right, the words expressed by RDX Bugle and Coolface are not that of the fix or any of its individual. But you know, I must say, like the the Partners. Bugle one, mm. that was a good interview. Too. Yeah, and uh, when he said that, 
when he sh- detail his um you know experience with elephant man mm. i felt bad i was like holy shit like seriously like a thousand dollars for all that work i felt mm. really bad and even when him did i talk about it, it's not like him did have him said anything about Ellie with any like he or, or like, malice, yeah i'm just you know, pre as a learning experience mm-hmm. and something where propel him can use to propel his career yeah. and something that him you can't say him hold on to but something to drive him yeah. to where him reach you know yeah. me? we hope you go every time one of the best albums i guess the you. lesson is guys we have to be more respectful to people mm-hmm. be fair yeah and don't think about it as you being a smart wiser person be fair yeah. to everyone it really not cost you much to be fair not that true mm-hmm. that a little reading rainbow to ellie yeah well it's not a reading rainbow it's just like uh mr rogers lesson oh, okay. yeah be fair integrity mm. you like that song find it <laughs> as i'm moving on <laughs> put yes, you on the spot <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh uh, boy. Mm-hmm. I'll include this in a wrap up as well. The 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 inclusion or the the, the busting of vloggers on the channel. We both had um Turn on Turn and on CMR. CMR. We've been did five CMR upon the platform, but mm-hmm. um I I I see those two as significant talks because you know I don't really see any other media entity. Our media platform really highlight the work that vloggers do mm-hmm. and even though we don't really necessarily consider ourselves as such i i always pre what them do and say what they do in the culture it is needed it's mm-hmm. something that you see hip-hop culture have and you see that's a part of you know making the thing nice and mm-hmm. making it an industry you know mm-hmm. them things they a part of what makes up a, a music industry and yeah. me see and acknowledge the work that them do and big them up, you see me? Mm-hmm. So it's no malice or hate or bad mind or nothing here or not like some re- the, the work of the man them do. Yeah, you see me? And I, I I like to see them get more highlight. That a real talk. So big up yourself third and be up yourself CMR. And we have um Chaddy B. I would have, supposed to come, but yeah, some things it never work yeah. out scheduling and them thing. Yeah, we open yourself. And everyone else, who yeah. Can't remember right now, but yeah. Mm. All right, so. I reach cranium. That one I know. This was like that the conversation I with a certain it was like the male version of Nika, in a sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it to you immediately after I did that. This was like the male version of Nika conversation. The convo would have with Cranium. Uh-huh. You see me? Whole heap of quotables far from that, that interview. <laughs> we do, do a bumba compilation for Instagram, IGTV, uh man I talk about him experience with Gellam all them thing, but it always it cool. I, it's cool to me for for, for artists like Cranium, of Cranium's caliber for you know, far and just talk with the yeah. bullshit, is it me? Shoot the breeze as they say, you know what I mean? And just rap with we and all these things. So. Yeah, and it was yeah. a fun one. Yeah, but well, that's about Cranium. Some things <laughs> probably like... never necessarily want to. Like Cranium, you are a dog, <laughs> but like a nice dog. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> No, but yeah. it was fun though, and I I liked it. It was it felt free, it mm. felt easy, it felt like you know you're having a conversation. Uh, with yes, a, when you know having a conversation with your group of friends. I remember being at UA underneath the gazebo, uh, juicy, and I them thought that we used to have. So it felt like one of those mm. open, honest, wild conversations. And to be honest, we'd like to have those type of conversations yeah. with, with the artists. And if you notice. We kind of don't really do, if you don't see how we differentiate things, we kind of really do um, interviews in the podcast unless they are going to be like like that of a Korean. But we you can just yeah. talk bullshit, you see me? Yeah. I don't know if the people don't recognize, like interviews them different from podcasts, you see me? So them them interviews are them conversations which you include in the podcast, you know, say you cool conversation or yeah. You know what I mean? So this was one such. Mm-hmm. When a fan come to a show, any artist show. Majority of them that really love the artist. When I talk about the one who just love the artist song, I talk about them say, yo, Fantasize, some Chris. Yeah, and... You see the one who say want to give Chris. If them don't have a woman, they not go and do it. Me need inspiration, you know, brother. Me need to fuck for sing about it, you know. I've done some 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 wicked thing. My girl house and them have them man and me fuck. 
Wash and wood nice sink. We don't care. Yeah, I know. Uh, and all them. Wait, that oof a sink, Craig. Really. <laughs> Oof, a sink it in. That is the worst. Tell me, sir, how the man sink it. No, but as I say, like, you see, man, you know, the Tell me how the man sink it. You don't fucking wash with that, you see, the face towel. Excuse me. Clean on the man washing my face and sinks there. Brother, may I tell you how the face towel use white mood? We don't care. Yes. What do you do? What do you do? Walk around with a wet hood. Come on, man, I wash my face. One thing about yard, man. We have this 24 hour window, like any girl will fuck with them 24 hour, anything go bad in her, she, she crosses. I have a rule of me fuck. If I go fuck a girl, pan tour, back in the days, when me used to fuck, I never ever fuck pan a day. Oh, when I got travel. Oh, oh, oh. Tra- like, oh. oh. You understand? I get it. Yeah. I get so, it. So, me, me, me deal with them on the Friday, and it's sure the Saturday, 24 hour pass, I'm good. <laughs> but this house is a 24 hour window for me. Yeah, man, you're mad, man. I don't know what you catch up there, Yeah, man. Oh, if you're catches, man. <laughs> when, <laughs> you, you get, you know, can you imagine? Can you imagine on the it's flight? Her. And the pilot say, I'm tired of this. Uh, <laughs> I love Jamaican women. Mm. Just when they talk, it's just some next level thing. Mm. Like, them extra with the talking when you're fucking. Mm. Like, stab out my nice clean one and them bum buckler thing. Like, I don't really want to hear them something. They must go mm-hmm. in hard with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the conversation sometimes. Like, pussy not supposed to come with a pop quiz. Choking is in them. I just want to know why, why love get choked. It's just the sensation. So you feel the restriction here and then you feel it there. I don't really take part in a fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave no then... fingerprint pants, no woman <laughs> choked and all them things. Yeah. Especially me go beat a woman now, like, having sex. Because I don't want to physically beat, like, beat it. Next time I go beat it now and then me and her stop deal. And then she wanna use it against me and say, yo, me her time. Me never them joke. Yeah. Would I rather do them thing with my personal woman? Mm-hmm. Cause I'm a singlish. Mm-hmm. So that means I might have a woman and I might not, but you know. What I mean? You yeah. never fuck a married woman before. Me? Yeah. Never fuck a married woman. When me must say nobody have to know now. Yeah. So like, <laughs> you know, me dead you know? Is raw sex the best sex? Raw sex is good, you know, but me I tell you, you, know, you listen to me. Earn your own risk, you know. Me a conversation with people. Mm. I know some man with piss lightning and thunder, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, because I don't know, me tell myself, say, I'm not even joking in the car. <laughs> you see me? Some man with piss some lightning and thunder, brother. She... So I have this new thing now where I just say, I'm going to flip a kind. Like, I literally just put it in a God hand. <laughs> so I say, hey, God. God is like, leave me up. Yeah. If, if, if I do this, I don't want to be a stop part of this. In this number, I say, you know what? You see, you see, you see if you want me to do this, you got to do the right thing. So, me take tail and you take heads. I'm going to flip the kind. And if I hit Japan, she dead. She get beaten. I got real. I got fuck. But any Japan tail, I know I got to tell me don't do it. So, I'm putting a few man sometimes. You almost slick, you know. All right. So, one thing me definitely say me don't want to bring back for 2019. You mm-hmm. know what it was, Ari. Mm-hmm. You know what it was. Bars. Okay. Bars. Okay. I wanted to bring back the bars. Mm-hmm. And me, me, me followed the idea. Freestyle Fridays. Kick it off towards the end of last year. Kick it off with, with Kasik. No offense to, to the rest of people. And the highlight of, of, of Freestyle Fridays so far is Blood Claro was The man tore it to shreds. And it can never hurt when he mentioned me. Right? I don't know what was the latter. Right? Freestyle, what they really right, <laughs> right, say yes. <laughs> it's a freestyle fry was been a tell say yo, I'm ready, I'm ready. Like for months, I'm been a tell say yo, I'm ready. Yeah. He could have, he could have tell it, it's sure, you see me. Mm-hmm. So, here's some of them vicious bars that the man is with. Attack a was Chamba, big up yourself, the producer of the beat. Cash up, walk a was. Check me, yo. Some artists figure part like Valley. Kick them na them face with my ballet. See, I got Michael Manley. Watch your lyrics, them a punch like Mohammed Dali. And you versus me is like Tanto Blacks. I try for worried Addy. Lyrics in a overdrive, robot cabby. And girl, I give me the pussy out of the panty for my cocky stab stabby. The fool, I look my girl like him a smuddy. But then the girl, my fuck turn bird box. Them not see nobody. My raising at the 90s, like the 2000. Link up with MIA, neck and wrist frozen. Me, I know the gospel artist, but me chosen. Buy a whole fleet of cars, invest in a house. What's a your ear? And even Thomas couldn't doubt you. Ex girl, I link again. Fake friend, I shout you. No, me see why the pussy them I try get out you. Everywhere you go is all about you. Watch out, kill them, put them in a grave, dig them up and kill them again. Them a centred. Better if I credit them, did I send? Me a bad from me a ten. Stab boy with ratchet knife and pen. And if you eat, you get nine shot. Multiply by ten. Make your marrow fly like one of the plane. Them over tin sipping. Them boots you like a supergen for me. Lock off your oxygen. Come box me when. Want hell raise. Satan and them children. If you're this 11 a.m., you are for dead by 12 p.m. All about in a Jamaica. You know, see a beam on a dead bob 
small, it turn into him grave. When him see the place around dread, my love my life. If you try to take mine, people blood off his shed. So if you're scared, when night come, piss and go your bed. Knock, knock it on a pussy where you try to stop your bread. You a dog with nam your food if you no feed a dog with lead. Bust a shot in your head while your girl a give your head. Free world boss and take R. Kelly instead. Murdering murderous, we turn the murder up. Pussy wa murder me, never yet heard of us. Rise it and knock it up, night vision be knock killers. Benelli black eagle fly, down and I pick them up. This and a pitney stuff when it's boss and not turning us. Gabriel bring the pussy for the cocky, so me cock it up. Pussy butter bruise, the body jam, me slap it up. Ejaculate in a jackie face and then jackie cut. Me a pop guns and champagne before papi bus. Properly paid, premium pocket with prosperous. Sassaros one slaughter, this thing and still the stars are us. Infrared pointing at them for it, fire far from us. Man a real Sagittarius. Last son for Abraham Asha, no Aquarius. Female care for us, always be there for us. What's the best full stop? Nobody near to us. You don't want to see Aria uh, blushing at the car when he when was saying it. That yeah, boy's all up to eat up. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Sadness. Uh, well, all right. The last one who kind of really stand out to us was Morgan Heritage. Mm-hmm. For several reasons. The caliber of artists, type of artists. Um, to tell the truth, we don't really like having bands on, on the show. For logistical reasons, <laughs> so, m- it's a small space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, even though we've accumulated um, enough more mic and them thing, but yeah, small space and we've we've seen that sometimes talking to a group of people can be a shit show. <laughs> sometimes, but this wasn't one. I uh, respect the Morgan Heritage for passing through. Yet again, we my rapper interview. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, really did 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 rate said they reached out to us and said we'd like a far and say sure. I mean and the conversation about uh oh Yeah. Mm. It was. Of our next interview, first interview for you, I'll be about that too. <laughs> yeah, so there was one such interview where Jabba be say, oh, the best interview, best, the best. Calm down. Best ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never <don't> <laughs> <laughs> The best one is. Is it man? Yeah, top there for you. So here's some highlights of that one. There's always been African um you know, say appetite mm. for Jamaican culture and the music. And I'm not talking about just reggae, reggae and dance art. True. Because there's a time when Beanie Man was touring big up to Beanie Man. When Beanie Man had tour Uganda, enough dance artists don't reach the yet. Mm. Right? Um, but even before that, you had people like Toots and the Matels that went to Nigeria and played and had to play for five hours. When you talk about the thirst of reggae, five hours upon stage. Mm. And people like Burning Spear that has always gone there, Easel Vibration, Dennis Brown, Bob Marley. But I think Morgan Heritage, not to be bossy or anything, but we kind of opened up that market. And as a dancehall artist, I would give that credit to really Buju Bantam and Beanie Man mm. that brought dancehall as dancehall artists to say, yo, this market is a place that is, you know, craving for the music and the culture. Mm. That is, you know, the, the babies of that now is people like Davido and Storm Boy and Burner Boy. Yeah. You know, I remember when Burner Boy did the name Burner Rankin, <laughs> you mm. know. Wow, so okay. I watched it and me and my brothers did not say, this thing I look at it, I'll come get dance all around. No, no. Which is Afrobeat. Which was years ago we yeah. saw it coming. So what do you think about the, the emergence? Now, you said you, you spoke on it and you saw it from years back. It say, was oh, coming. Afrobeat was falling. So yeah. what do you think about it now and the cries of dance all in a sense Beautiful. of say, yo, why, 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 why make Afrobeat overtake with and all these things? Yeah. That's been happening. Can, it's, not, it's, not, it's not even about why we are making it happen. <laughs> It's, it's just what happens. It's what the world thirsts for. And if you're not feeling the appetite of the world, if if, if somebody brings KFC on the table, I tell Stu and McDonald's. Somebody going to eat the KFC, somebody eat the appetite, somebody's going to eat the McDonald's. Shall I eat the KFC? You know, so <laughs> my thing is, people are losing the appetite for dancing. Mm-hmm. And not it's, reggae. No. In some places, reggae too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, They're not losing the appetite don't... for reggae maybe for Jamaican reggae artists mm. Mm. because they're being provided that from their own people. Now, this is a reality that we have to accept and understand that, look, we've created something that we don't really have a lot of value on, but the world loves it. Mm. 
You know, and the Bible says, well, yeah. if Israel not going to do it, no, God is going to make wood and stone do it. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing it happen before our eyes. You know what I'm saying? So when you see what's happening with Afrobeat, they have created a sound that the world is in love with right now. Now, I'm not sure if Afrobeat will just be a phase because the population is the power. Now, if we Jamaicans is three million on the island and we now support ourselves, mm-hmm. why should others support us outside of Jamaica? I've been saying we, this. We've been saying this. You I've been saying this. Yeah. Now, when you talk about <laughs> Burna Boy in Nigeria, Davido in Nigeria, Wiz in Nigeria, how much people? 190 million? Mm. 193 million. That's a platinum. Pato no, Rankin type. told me that in Nigeria alone, you have one million artists. <laughs> what? Uh, yes. what? Uh, one million artists. What? <laughs> you know, I feel, me feel like said Jamaica could, have, could I attest know. that. You know? <laughs> Listen, I know who is artist there, but it's yeah. not an exaggeration. I feel like that's an exaggeration. It's not an exaggeration. Like exaggeration. <laughs> if you're talking about 200 million people, yeah, and a lot of them are just, it's the talent is their escape. Yeah. Mm. A million people is nothing in the count of 200 million. million. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And that's what they get to use have is their music. And mm-hmm. they are taking the world by storm. All right, Ari. We did kind of switch things up with the podcast this year. Mm-hmm. Just quickly go over like what stood out for you, like in our conversations on the podcast. Uh, but my favorite moment was that was me, you, and Javidus shooting the breeze. Yeah, <laughs> when the Kanye thing. Yeah, I was so pissed off. I was so budging, pissed. <laughs> okay, and I went to Taurus Riley. We went to Taurus Riley. Something there. We never go backstage. That's why it's the Taurus view. Like, yeah, we never go yeah, backstage. The yeah, the last time. Yeah, last, like, couple of weeks I go staging. Yeah. Um, so we were in the crowd, and I was like, look at that. Look how the crowd, the Emancipation of Evil Pack, mm. for a free show for your very own Taurus Riley. Y'all people suck. Suck. And, it, and on in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of, the line that we use, we love Jesus, but not so much. <laughs> My mom was like, oh, we love church, not so much. My mom was like, really? Uh, Seriously? That's, that's. Oh, you know what was funny? My mom was saying, like, the, the cranium one. Oh. Did you get reprimanded for that? <laughs> for that conversation? <laughs> Oh, you know, like white girls like to be choked, and I was just like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm a dog, so that. And my mom was like, um, I know, I know you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> she gave that to her. I know you're an adult, you know. But I think more so it was because, like, she she was a past well a past teacher, mm. and her students, her past students, was sending her stuff, and uh. she's like, oh, you look at Miss Gilmore. Like, but Miss Grizzle Data, but she get choked and all these things. Calm, no, she actually thought it was something else I said. Oh, uh, what that? Oh, Zine, I get that. You got it? Yeah, do the, do the sound. No. <laughs> <laughs> so she thought, and I was like, no, mom, I mean choking. And she's like, yeah. even worse, can you not? Can you not go on the internet and talk about your sex life, please? And I'm like, <laughs> I can't really promise you anything, but we'll see how 2020 goes. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, one conversation that did stand out for me was the linking argument. Yeah. <laughs> that, way. that was a big argument. Yeah. Of, yeah. Of, that was, during and after. Yeah. I say, Yo, it, there's a difference between day and linking. I, I broke it down to, I broke down the science. And it's still bullshit. It's not science. It's, it's, it's fucking fact. bullshit. Linking and saying is the same fucking thing. No, it's not. It is. No, it is not. No. It's a Javi don't know. She officially stopped Link now. Like oh, she, she of- stopped Link. She dealt with no, him. No, kind of dealt Link. Like. She dealt with him for years. They were together. Oh, I'll bleep out that name later. <laughs> <laughs> they were together. Them, them. No, really them officially linking. stopped Link. Even what though them not. Until them got to the altar and actually say the vows. That's when them officially stopped Link. So but wait, like, you have to be not, married before you're dead? Not necessarily. It doesn't. I'm yeah. just saying officially, officially. That's what I'm saying. Formally. Thank you. Like, there's another girl in here. Can I say anything? Um, other Gabby girl, other girl in me. here who, who's our first time here. I have no talk here. <laughs> None whatsoever. She agrees with me. It uh, makes no sense. You see, we're there at that boat, it even more. Like, them still don't get it. Them don't get it. 
You know what I mean? I know if Javi was here, she would. Because Javi agreed with me more than. Speaking of, congrats to Javi. I'm going to talk about, me, about this more on the podcast, but she recently got not fingered, engaged. <laughs> <laughs> I just had the middle figure we used to know which I like. She was a minute for no other one. And yeah. She gets engaged. She probably get that to the said night, you know. Oh boy. Why? Why are you like this? Uh, were you hatched? Were you hatched? No, I was not. Why were you why are you? You like know who this? was who was hatched her son? <laughs> Why I'm not going to allow you to disrespect. No, I'm not there's going to a demon. There's a demon. Spawn that thing. DJ, DJ is a sweetheart. Spawn of the devil that growing you. Growing so sweet and Two nice. Two devil parents. Shut up. Anyways, congrats to Javi. We're going to talk about that more on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we can end here yes, on I this note. Here. This is ridiculous. Best moments of 2019. People stick and say, you know, all heap of things go on last year, and, and we hope that um, we we'll continue to provide more and very content fun. That's the pre for this year. Last year, we reached a big milestone 100,000 subscribers, introduced some new forms of content, quick fix, kind of sad. You guys away. never really like quick fix, and I felt like. Yeah. And, okay. All heap of work going on. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Go a little mini rant. I researched, I looked up things. I wrote, I did most of the the background work for a quick fix. Acho. And y'all motherfuckers didn't even watch that shit. <laughs> like, that hurt, man. That hurt. I'm gonna want, and hurt. to be honest, and to be fair, I'm gonna want to discredit the people that did watch. Yeah. Because there were people that did watch and said them love this. Them love yeah. this different type of research content and love Javi and fair personality as well. Of course, Javi always nice to look upon and all these yeah. things. But um, it, was, it just did fall to a point where it, it, it took a whole lot. And it's like the return on investment, it just never did that much in terms of, you know, the actual views and, you know, shit like that. It's something that we'd like to return to when we have our own studio space. Of course, we have more time for shooting. But what we did I shoot at the time, plus the return on investment, as we said previously, it just never did that adds up and match up. So we say, oh, I've done it for now. So that gets shelled for now. We still have plans to do that as well. And next thing also we have plans to do, March Madness. It's a by a crook, hook or crook. All right, it's happening. I'm going to start the promo before the... I know because you are saying, I might be able to start it out. You see me? We're going to start promo by the end of January. Sir, what? excuse me, excuse me. What? Sir? What? You, you, you have a next job. <laughs> No, no, I, don't, I don't I don't think we're gonna try do we're going to try listen this is I'm, I'm, I have the idea to do it and we're going to try and execute this you see me so that we're looking to bring back this year um, as well we're pretty for continue fixated as we say and other different things we're pretty for do. so just stay with us thanks to the people that have been with us throughout all these years five years this um January I think about Six. the 14th Six. or when we start Last about the 14th of January or so though mm-hmm. It'll be six years since we've been in, in, in existence. We've seen many a show forward and gone, forward and gone. I will still step out, we still no step out. Uh, yeah. Big up Lulu's. Big up the people them who big have expensive. um supported us big and have Lopians, big up Red Bull. backed us over the years, big up news. which is right. But you know, it's, it's a hard thing doing this. It is. It's really a, a labor of love. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, let me just use this opportunity because we don't usually get to do it much on camera to big up our patrons and to encourage the people. And if you want to support us, if you want to see us continue and do different things, support us by going to patreon.com slash the fix. You put in you put on the side face? Do, do the side face. Support the fix. Patreon.com slash the fix J A this where the side music plays in Jervis. In the arms of hey, you cue that right there. Can I say like if people like if people give like a thousand dollars, I'll show them my birthday. You could unlock that. If you want to sell yourself short, uh, you, uh, you, the, the person we talk to um, today, they are talking about you know, that song there. What about that? Anyways, so people, Patreon.com. Probably. Like five grand. 
But it's like if you had D cups. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like based on the size of the purse. Yeah. I price them correct. But they're perky and nice though. So you know, say mother page about this again. <laughs> 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 so I got page about this. Like, yeah. We got Who cares? Who cares? So again, Patreon.com. Are you having a party? I'm pro- no, Patreon.com slash the fix JA. If you want to support us financially, you can do that there. Okay. Alright? Why party? do you deserve it? I stayed alive. <laughs> Cause God knows. You know, God so I walk knows. on these days, that's a big accomplishment. Yeah. That's a big up for themselves. Yeah. Alright, people. So that does it for our 2019 wrap up. As we said, more things for 2020 and all these Can things. Can you me back, friend? I may at least give this, all right? Yeah, you get, really you, get to, you get to hug Naro for 2020. <laughs> yeah, really all, right. all right. You want to tell the people about them can follow? Remember, so we have a bet going. I'm going to win the bet. Seriously, how much are they? Um, 9,975. 9,900. As of right now, yeah. You did about 9,000 much. Man, I really should show my breasts. Sad. <laughs> we have a bet who can uh, reach 10,000 followers on Instagram first. So to help me to reach that goal so that I can win a bet and Ari can um, do embarrassing things, you can follow me at e.naro. That's E-D-O-T-N-A-R-O on Instagram. Where can people follow The Fix? You can do so at The Fix J-A. You can follow me <laughs> at A-R-I H-A-M-M-O-N-D. Follow me on Instagram. A-R-I-H-A-M-M-O-N-D. You have your own mic. <laughs> no, I like this one better. Oh, you like my mic? I like your mic. <laughs> 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 you might watch. All right, baby. <laughs> of course, you can follow us across all platforms. The Fix J A, Instagram, Twitter, like us on Facebook, and of course, on a day or so, on a more than like a subscribe. YouTube.com slash The Fix J A. Give thanks to all subscribers, all supporters. Again, I will see you know, again. All right, more of it for 2020, 2020 vision. Let's continue to leave that out. All right, we're gone. Let all you teach a talk you fear. Hope and fear bring in the new year. Me remember when me have a one night here. And me one blue jeans did tear. Me office punch pan check it for your beer. Beggar split from boat over there. 